Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the raw life health. All right, everybody, uh, welcome. It is uh, summertime now here in South Florida, and it is mango season. There are many different types of fruits that grow here in South Florida, mango being the most popular. Uh, and the, the summer season is probably June, July, and some of August it starts winding down. And this is a time to be careful for a raw foodist and myself because I, I, I love to eat a lot of greens and I love to eat a lot of fruit, but I know a lot of anything is no good. So this is important and this is the key to success. On, on any diet, but especially those of you that struggle with the raw food diet. I'm not against people eating a, a, a good amount of fruit, but too much is too much. And I just got out of the gym and I was exercising, you know, burning off the food, the calories, utilizing, you know, the sugar the right way. But even then I still try to limit the sugar I put in my body, even fruit sugar. And I get the highest quality fruits right off the tree right now. And it's very tempting to eat more than I can eat, more than I want to eat, to eat with my eyes, to eat with the taste. But I'm trying to limit myself. Uh, or I don't want to use the word limit, but I, I, I'm putting a, I'm trying not to eat more than like four mangoes a day because they're super sweet. And with that, I'm still want to eat my greens and get my green juices in. And this is the way it works when you're on a, at least for me, and the way the seasons work, I'm very much into nature and watching the way nature works. As Even though we're so far out of nature, we're so far removed from a natural environment in many places that we live. But still, nature knows what it's doing. Our creator knows. So, for example, in the wintertime, avocados are in season. In the wintertime, more, you get more nuts and seeds that are ready to harvest. And the wintertime is a time where your body needs more fats. And it's a time where you're not being as active. The sun is not out. Your digestion's not, you know, working all day uh, from when the sun is out. So your sleeping time is more. You're getting more rest and more sleep in the winter time because the days are shorter. You look at all animals in the nature kingdom, even nocturnal animals. In the, in the winter time, sleeping is longer. And eating times are less the amounts of food people eat are less, and the types of foods that people eat or even animals eat are, are more fattening and more dense to deal with the harsher environments in some places. But even in South Florida, it's not cold here in South Florida, but if you're used to really hot, it's still, it's still it's colder. But then in the summertime, what's available is a lot of the high liquid foods. The, the watermelon and mangoes and the, the less dense foods where you, you, you're working more in a day, you're in the sun more and you're exercising more, or at least you're being using more energy so you can get away with eating more of the fats. I mean, I'm sorry, with more of the sugars and less of the fats. So if you're trying to do it the opposite, if you're trying to eat fats in the summertime, that's not the ideal way. And if you're trying to eat a lot of sugar or, 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 or watery foods in the wintertime, it's not uh, the, the, the perfect way or the ideal way to do it. So you can look at now, if you take somebody out of their environment and take the food out of their environment, it's not going to help them thrive as much. So if you have Alaska's uh, uh, Eskimos in the middle of Alaska eating watermelon in the middle of winter, uh, it's not gonna be the same as somebody living in the tropics eating, uh, eating watermelon in the middle of the summer or vice versa. If you have uh, people that live in, near the equator trying to eat uh, whale blubber and all those other high fat foods and everything else, they're not gonna do as well as people in Alaska that are eating these high fat foods during the winter time. So when I'm making my raw food diet, I try to think about what I can get away with in nature and how nature dictates everything or our creator dictates everything. Because I look at nuts, for example, uh, it, you know, there's only a certain amount of nuts I could eat in nature in a certain time. You can't go into a health food store and get like two pounds of almonds and sit there and eat them if they're already shelled. If you have to shell them, you're working for your food. It's going to take a lot longer to get those foods. So even when I eat nuts, I try to eat the foods that I can easily uh, get or easily uh, 
uh, easily uh, get the nuts out of. So if you're right, I know around Christmas time, a lot of this it's nuts and seeds come in their shells and it's really not easy to get things like almonds and pecan, well, pecan's a little easier, but almonds and Brazil nuts out of their shell. So I know those are harder to get out of shell. They would take long and eat them in a bulk amounts. So when I do get them out of the shell, I'm not gonna eat them as much as pistachios and walnuts and pecans, which are very easy to get out of their shells. So you can get away with eating a little bit more of those. So I try to let, I try to think about that. Well, you know, and I know we're not in nature. You know, I wouldn't be doing a lot of things I, that if I was in nature, I'd be doing. But there's few things I can hold on to, or a few of the principles I can hold on to. And one of them is in the summertime, it's eating uh, or getting away with or being allowed to eat more of the things that are in season in my environment. And that would be more of uh, the fresh fruits and vegetables that I can grow. But at the same time, I want to limit how many foods or how much fruit or how much high sugar fruits I'm letting in my body. So for example, dates, dates are a dried food and dates are something you might like in smoothies, you might like to eat. And a lot of people that are new to the raw food diet like dates and other dehydrated foods and so on, and dehydrated fruits and so on. But you need to make sure you don't overdo it. You're limited to some degree. And, and uh, so, you know, you'll be much better off when you start thinking on those terms. So I hope that's helpful to you all. And check out my other channel, Fruitful Trees. And you can see some of the great mangoes that we're harvesting here and what we're doing with those. And uh, yeah, everybody, I hope you all have a great day. And thanks for watching. And uh, please share this with anyone else if that you think they'll find some good information from this. Have a great day, everybody, and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life.